So we're joined by uh, Donna Taylor, Sen Monroe, and Michelle Hall, who are the makers, producers, directors, writers of Stages. Welcome. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for putting such a moving picture into the festival. Would one of you be so kind as to give us a brief synopsis of what the story is about? The writer here. Right, one me. of the writers. <laughs> Essentially, it's a, well, it is a true story about two people with lots going on in their private lives, all the turmoil, that uh, find each other and find love. And it goes to show that uh, no matter what you're dealing with, love conquers all, in a nutshell. That was in a nutshell. <laughs> and, and I know what they're dealing with. What are they dealing with? Parkinson's disease, essentially. Okay, I mean, Parkinson's. there are other issues, but essentially it's about depression and Parkinson's disease. So, so, so what inspired you to write this? Well, I'm a comedy writer, really. Oh. By, that's what I like. But, um, but having met the real Russ and Sean, I was really moved by their story. Mm. And uh, contacted Donna here and said, mm. Donna, I think we've got to film here. He knows that I'm quite, um, our work is often... Visceral. Yeah, really aimed at um, giving a voice to the unheard. And mm. So we uh, said knew that I'd be um, very much... Very interested, interested in doing it. And so, yeah, that's what, it, in, you know, in, in adversity there's hope, because obviously it's a very dark story in, in the sense of what goes on in the middle, but the fact that they, they find each other, there was hope there for them in that sense. So yeah. that, we always like to work on projects where there is an element of hope, even if we're touching groundbreaking stories and stories that are really quite hard to sort of watch and yeah. understand how, what people go through. But yeah, it's absolutely. understanding how hard it is to live with the early onset of Parkinson's and, and have that awareness, because we wasn't aware of it, was we, initially, how that it can uh, be brought on so young. And so I think it's quite, a lot of people were quite sort of, wow, I didn't know we could um, get... The research, things. sorry, no, I, I was going to just very quickly, the research behind it has opened up a, well, opened our eyes up a lot to it. Yeah. And um, we've, we've certainly learned a hell of a lot as a result of, of, of doing this. So, so you've, come up with the concept. Did you have a script when you approached on? I had a very good idea so of what I wanted to write, but right, that was it. Okay. In fact, I actually rang on and said, we've got to make a film, where's the script? Haven't written it yet. So that was a pitch of an idea? Yeah. And you and uh, just thought, this is great. This is a great idea. Yeah, we, we, we um, worked together in developing it a bit more, didn't we? I remember it very well. It was around Donna's kitchen table, <laughs> and the script went back and forth quite a few times. Um, Sen is a comedy writer, <laughs> and I, I remember oh. the moment with the pirate outfit at the door. And both Donna and I said, "Oh, we don't know about the pirate outfit," but it did happen. Ever, that think, really happened. Yeah. Well, yeah. the budget didn't extend to the full um, pirate outfit. I mean, the, what we ended up with was a was a parrot and a, a, and a blow up dog. But when Russ turned up for the real date, um, he turned up as. Um, What's the, um, what's the guy's name? Oh, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Jack Sparrow. Yeah, this, this is one of those moments where there was a many times during the filming where Donna and I might have clashed with some of Sen's ideas. And this was one time where he was totally right because we would have got rid of the parrot and just been, we've just watched it in there. And do you know how many laughs that parrot got? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the, parrot, the parrot's moved out on his own now. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we did trim the scene, didn't we? But it, I think it worked the way it was in the end. It, but do you know what the, the light the, the comedy is needed and i think the biggest problem we had with this story is it was it was a feature length story there was so much to get in and to be able to have to be able to get the story across where people can relate to the characters and feel david's pain and feel charlotte's pain and feel you know, it, it's so difficult in 20 to 25 minutes and that was our biggest ish, you know, massive issue that we had we could have easily done a feature. A lot yeah. more, but the other thing is, look, it, it is a serious subject, but there has to be some levity somewhere in it, otherwise, you know. No, and, and actually, I totally agree with you. That, that, because you juxtaposed it with what came just before opening the door, and that, that's coming from a well, comedy writer. Well, look, I mean, <laughs> we, we were very true to the story, and you have to pack a lot in in the 23 odd minutes that we had, mm -hmm. you know, um, but we, we, we tried to be really, really honest and express the true story of, of these of these poor people. I mean, they went through a lot. Mm. That film, as short as it is, is the best that we could have done. Mm. In scratches the, the surface. Especially yeah. It just scratch the surface. Okay, and it really does scratch the surface. So, leads me on to an obvious question. Is there going to be a feature? We oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, it'd be wouldn't lovely. Be <laughs> <laughs> Show me the like, money. Yeah, <laughs> we, we would like to be able to, because I felt as a director, I had to try and really 
tell the story quite quickly to get it in there and using the montage to do that. It was quite... That was clever. I mean, we, it was the only way we could try and create the time and everything else, but we would like to do a feature of uh, the piece because I think it would really lend itself to understanding deeper into their, each of their stories. Yes. Yes. There's so much more there yes. that we could have sort of explored and I, it did feel like it finished... You know, money and time constraints. Of money and time constraints. <laughs> yeah, money. I mean, we did it on such a shoestring small budget. budget that we are amazed, really, how, what we did for the budget. I'm still dancing for my tea. <laughs> <laughs> and we worked very closely with Russ and Charlotte as well. We wanted to tell their story. And the difference with them is it is a story about Parkinson's and how you deal with Parkinson's. But predominantly, actually, it's a story about the repercussions of Parkinson's. Mm. It's not just the disease. It's how it affects the relationships around yes, you. Yes, yes. And that's what we wanted to portray, and that's what it was difficult to portray in 24 minutes. No, but it worked. You, you did it very, very well. And it, it totally came across as that was the message. It wasn't yeah. just about the individual, it's about well, That's pleasing. Yeah. That's, what we, oh, that's great, what yeah. We're for. Absolutely. So challenges? Challenges? Um, just, you know, we, wanted, we really wanted to make sure we were true to the story and making sure that... that they were happy, the couple were happy, and that we, we were so sensitive to them, I think. With and we liaised with them all the way. So. Yes. And we have a, a brilliant challenge, we could, we could tell them here. If it, you remember our biggest challenge, which was the hobby. Go on, Michelle. We, we went to film the first weekend, we had everything in place, we had all the locations, yeah, we had all challenge. the actors, we had act, actors ready to go, and then um, our lead, the dearest Gary Webster, who can't be with us today, unfortunately ended up in the hospital. Oh. Yes, and we, we got quite poorly, so we then um, had to switch it all around. And he was absolutely marvellous. He took he every single um, scene of his, and then did it in the following weekend. That that man is a true professional. When we say poorly, we really, really ill. Really, yeah. 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 And he was so he was amazing. Gary was. I mean, all yeah. those things we were all worried about him, weren't we? And he did, and he did it. He was still poorly when he filmed the piece, and look how well he did. Yeah, he did fantastic. And he did it for us. He, he could have easily said no. I what a lovely, yeah. And what a lovely guy. I mean, I'm so. Sorry he's not here today, but um, he would be sort of... Thrilled to be. I'll tell you what, though, it gave us... Sure um, it was a little bit stressful, though, at the time. I'm <laughs> sure it was. Was you able to pick up anything at all? Was the whole day written off? Uh, no, we actually fitted in all the other things. We switched you the did, actors yeah. around. Yeah. We found new locations. Great. We found a few new... Donna and I managed to end up giving ourselves a part in the film. <laughs> We were, we are actresses. At the end of the day, we, we just filled the bits that we couldn't get the theme for in the end, wasn't it? <laughs> it it's the things that can go wrong, and because we only had such a short amount of time to fill, film it, it's just amazing. It's, for me, it was my first experience producing with Donna. And, um, and oh my goodness me, the, the, the amount of work that goes in, that was a year of work of solid work that was then nearly all thrown out the window at the last minute. And we were with um, the four of us, Donna and I, and Sen and Gary worked really closely. We had. We had an amazing time, and watching it there, oh, the, the, it's a pride. Yeah. Yeah. We are proud of it. Yeah. I mean, it, it's yeah. listen, it's it's only a short film, but that doesn't detract from the quality, you know, to make it. It's it, it, listen. I always say it, it's difficult to write a script. It's even harder to get the thing actually physically made. But I think that everybody, not just us for, for getting it put put together, but everybody pulled together and did their very best. And Sen managed to get us the song. Which was just the most joyous moment of my life when he called it. <laughs> and yeah, we had the song. song. Oh. Well, you cho you wanted the song. Michelle, I was desperate Michelle, for the song. Yeah, and I I, I rang up and said, "I thought there'd be brothers. no chance." Oh. Please, we had to we want the sing. song. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. And it works really well. It's nice, yeah, it's lovely, nicely. Yeah. It is a nice song. Thank you. Yeah, that was fantastic. Gets me every time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we were emotional about it because we met the people, so I always get quite teary because we knew the people, we, we know the people and it's it's so real, it's not fake. And even the word, even one of the lines, I'm married to her, I can't look after oh, no, That's yeah, a true well, line. And the, the actual, yeah. I, yeah. I wasn't born to look after a cripple. That yeah. is verbatim. Is that exact, verbatim? Exactly what she that's, said to me when she left. That's a killer line. Because we had a discussion about this and oh. Donna said, should, you know, should we put that in? I said, it stays, it has to stay. Because there's a sharp intake of breath. <gasps> Yeah, that's but what really, she said. it's kind of part of the whole message. It said. is, it is that that is it's a true, but it was just it's just so awful that she said that. We, it was just mm. like, will it offend anyone? But it was a, the fact was it was, it was a true story. This is what he uh, had to, to cope, with. cope with. But I think his like, actors, like you know, but Lewis as well was just so brilliant. brilliant. And, and there was a lot of pressure on the actors because they knew the people they were playing, and I think that's Donna, you as a director, to watch you with them because um, it's a lot of pressure. 
pressure. And you could set, you could see that they really yeah, wanted that's to do, pressure, isn't you know, do the it right is. thing by these, these two, Ross and Charlotte. And yeah, the, you, you got you got some wonderful acting out there, and that was it was wonderful to watch. That's what takes me back to the whole thing about we we wanted to remain absolutely true to the story because there's no point cutting corners or or, or, or sort of whitewashing mm. over it. It has to be. There was nice. yeah. Sorry. No, I. I I was just going to say thank you so much. It is a very moving piece, which completely tells its story beautifully. Thank you. Thank you so much for submitting to the festival. We really look forward to anything else you, you bring to us. So. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.